it's Sunday. Just what's going through your head? It's been a crazy day. Just how are you processing it right now? Um, yeah, it's been exciting. Um, you know, just a lot of love for the team. It was a long day. Um, and we just really got after it from the very beginning. Um, every single pitch, I just felt like this team was fired up the whole time and we were ready to go. What were the emotions in that first game? Uh, hitting two home runs and uh, the craziness of that against, you know, the top seed OU? Uh, there was a lot. Um, you know, honestly, like I was saying, I just feel like there's just so much love on this team and we're all fighting for each other from the girls that are out on the field and the dugout and the bullpen, just everything, you know, we're just laying it all on the line and giving everything we have right now. And what kind of confidence does that game give you guys headed into tomorrow against the you play OU again? I think it's fun of how good we are. And I think a lot of people disrespected us um, and just kind of looked past us a little bit. And I think we kind of show, showed up today and showed everyone what we can do. Um, and I just think we come out tomorrow and just keep fighting just as hard as we did today. Riley, for anybody who's watched a game that you all have played this year, you're always smiling. And that was kind of the case today in that Oklahoma game. You guys are down. The smile doesn't fade. What is it that – what's your secret? What is it that makes you so happy to be on the field? No matter the circumstance, you're smiling. What is it about the game that brings that joy? You know, I love the game. Um, but I'll just go back to the team. Like I was saying, it's all about the girls. Um, and when you're in a great environment like this, it's hard to be upset. It's hard to um, get down on yourself. when You just have amazing people around you, and you're playing the game you love. So I just um, fully believe in staying positive and having a ton of fun on the field. Riley, um, uh, oh, start. Uh, Riley, obviously you and I go way back. Uh, yeah. Tell me what it was like there. You felt comfortable at that plate there with two homers. I mean, that was uh, that was making a lot of headlines there. Just tell me how comfortable you felt at the plate. Um, I felt good. I felt like honestly the whole team was seeing the ball really well. Um, and obviously, it gives me more confidence when I'm seeing girls in front of me hit the ball well. Um, so I was just watching everyone else square it up and. I know if they're hitting it, then I can too. And kids are just kind of contagious, so I just kind of kept rolling. Obviously, uh, you guys have been used to playing some wild games. These two games were pretty wild. Just describe what was this day like with the highs and lows and everything? Um, and there was a lot of highs and lows. I think the biggest part is just kind of slowing yourself down and, like we're saying, staying positive. There's a lot of innings left to play. Um, so if you let one thing get to you, it's easy to start uh, going downhill. So there's a lot of highs and lows, but I think just kind of learning to stay in the middle there is the way to keep going. Second regional final for you. You were in 18. What what can you grab from that 18 experience you'll take with you here into Sunday? Um, I would just say that that experience of just slowing yourself down. I felt like when we played OU for the second time, we were a lot more confident. I mean, a lot of our girls knew that they could hit us or knew we could hit them, that we could compete with them. And I think just kind of that, just knowing that we can compete on the big stage. And um, I mean, we can be any team that's out there. And Riley, and uh, I know you played in a lot of big time games, but, you know, growing up in Wellington, this has got to be a dream, you know, you know, to be in a regional, to go against the number one team in the country, to be hitting home runs against them. What was what, what this, you know, weekend been like for you and, what do you kind of, what's your message to, you know, all the girls growing up in Wellington that are probably, you know, pretty excited to see you uh, succeed like that? Yeah, it's amazing. Um, it really is a dream come true. Since I was little, like, this is what I wanted to do. And I think that's the reason that I smile so much and I have so much fun because I'm living my dream right now. Um, and all I can say is just keep fighting, keep working. Um, if you put in the work, it really will pay off. So just keep going. Any dreams are possible if you just set your